Hello and welcome to the section of Calculus Extra Practice with Integration. Uh, here we're going to switch gears a little bit and begin to talk about how do we calculate volume using an integral. And you might think that's a little bit weird at first because up until this point we've talked about the idea that the integral is really the area under a curve. You know, if you have a curve here and you have the x-axis down here between A between B, that the, the integral of this guy between A and B is just the surface area, literally, of the curve between the curve and the x-axis. So then you might say, well, if integrals calculate area, then how can we use them to calculate volume? And that gives students a lot of problems at first. So what I want to do is just take a moment in this section to kind of prove to you that the idea of area, calculating area, you know, can be used to calculate volume of objects and kind of get you warm and fuzzy with that idea. And then in the next several sections, we're going to learn about a few specific techniques uh, that you set your problems up with in order to be able to calculate volume. So it's one of those applications of integration that everyone learns in, in class and you will definitely be tested on on being able to understand how to apply the different ways to use integrals to calculate volume of objects, right? Three-dimensional objects. Um, so the first thing we want to do is talk about the basic idea um, what is volume? So I'm just gonna put that on the board. What is volume anyway? I mean we all know that volume is like a three-dimensional object and it's it's how much space it occupies in 3D. You put water into it, it fills it up. That's the volume that we're trying to find. But let's just say for the sake of argument uh, that I have a three-dimensional object that's a cylinder. Um, so let's pick a simple three-dimensional object. So here's a big cylinder I'm drawing so we can make sure and see everything. So here's the cylinder in three-dimensional space, right? Something like that. I know it's not a perfect drawing, but let's just work with this. All right, now this cylinder is uniform. It's got a certain length to it, right? Actually, we can call it height, right? Even though it's on its side, we can call it H, right? Like this. And it's got a radius uh, to the circular nature of it. So from the middle to the edge, we can easily call that R. So this is typically everything you need to know to calculate the volume of a, of a cylinder. But if you think about it, Forget about volume for just a second. If I were to take a knife and just slice through this guy and expose one of the faces on the inside, you know, just slice through it, you know, think of a, a, wooden, a, a wooden cylinder or something like this, then how could I calculate, how would I calculate the cross-sectional area uh, of the cylinder? Not volume, I'm talking about area now, right? How, what is the equation that we use to calculate the cross-sectional area? Well, if this is a cylinder, that means that when you slice it in half that you're looking at a circle, right? If you have a cylinder here, you cut it, you look at the end, you've got a circle here. And we know the radius of this circle, because we've drawn it on the board, is R. So, if we wanted to slice this guy, let's pretend that we slice it right here, then what we're going to have is sort of a cross section that's also going to be a circle, and it's going to have some surface area with, with that cross section, right? So, what would this cross-sectional uh, area actually be? Let me draw a little line here. The cross-sectional area here, A, right, is pi r squared. This is not a trick question. I'm not trying to trick you guys here. Uh, if you cross, if you cut it, you look at it, you've got a circle with radius r, because no matter where you cut it, it's got the same radius. It's a uniform cylinder, right? So that means the surface area anywhere you cut this cylinder is pi times r times r, pi r squared. All right, so this is the surface area. So if I cut this guy here, I'm gonna see a surface area 